Hi guys, I'm Allie and I'm a fitness instructor at the Eastside Y and today we're going to do some exercises in a game that's perfect for kiddos grades K to 6 and today I have my daughter Madeline who's going to help me. Today for our exercises all you need is a mat and if you don't have a mat use a towel. You need to have on proper footwear sneakers with a nice tread. I would say no, no socks. You want to protect your ankles. Um, also today, make sure you stay hydrated and have fun. You're going to enjoy this. This is an activity that you can do inside or you can do outside. You can do with a parent or a sibling. You can do it by yourself because it is important right now to get 60 minutes of exercise every day. So if you can go outside and play, that's awesome. But if the weather's not nice, you got to do what you can do inside. So what we're going to do first is we're going to warm up and then we're going to play kind of a game. I have several different sheets of paper and Madeline's going to pick one. On the paper it's going to be a different exercise that you and I are going to do safest we can, best we can, as many as we can for 30 seconds. We're going to get that heart rate up for 30 seconds and then we'll take a little break. And then we're going to pick another exercise. This is good. This is great for your heart. It's great for everything. So what we're going to do first, we're going to warm up. So come make sure you have space all around you because we're going to be working in all planes. So Madeline, I'm going to take a few steps back and we're going to start warming up. So let's start first just with some shoulder rolls. Take your shoulders and roll them back, back. Very good. Keep going. Make sure when you're rolling your shoulders, you bring them up to your ears and then release them to the back. Give me four, three, two, one. Now I want you to reverse that and take them forward. Roll your shoulders forward, loosening up your upper body because we're going to need it in a little bit for some of the different activities we're going to do. Keep going. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice. Now let's make big circles going backwards. Reaching up and back. Give me five. Four. Three. Good. Two. One. Reverse it and take it forward. Now you can absolutely play music with this if you like. Something that you like to listen to to get your heart rate up, to keep you active. Give me three more. Three. Two. One. Nicely done. I want you to step your feet apart and we're going to start slow with this exercise and then we'll pick it up. Put your arms out, and I want you to bend your right knee, touch your toe, and then come back up. I'll step back so you can see my feet. Come down to the left side, bend the knee, and come back up. Make sure your knee is going over the middle of the foot. Chest is up. One more time. Give me one more slow one. Now I think you're ready to pick it up, so let's go a little faster. So I'm going to stay down, and I'm just going to shift that weight from leg to leg. Knee stays over the foot. Give me five. Give me four, looking good. Give me three. Give me two. Give me one. Nicely done. All right, stand. And I want to make sure you have space behind you. We're going to do the reverse lunge. You're going to take your right leg, hands on your hips, take it back, and we're going to lunge down and then come back up. My left leg's going to go back, lunge down, come back up. Keep going. I'm going to go side on so you can see me. Lunge down to 90 degrees, but your knee never touches, and come back up. Keep going. Lunge down and up. Keep going and up. It's okay if you're on the wrong foot. It doesn't matter. You'll work both sides. Give me two more. Two. Now, do you think maybe we can pick it up a little bit? I think so. So back and up. Back and up. Back and up. Give me two more full sets. One more full set after this. Right here. Nicely done. All right, let's start to jog it out. Keeping your arms loose. Keep going. Keeping your arms loose. Landing on your full foot. For four. Is your heart rate starting to get up? Three. Two. Now, can you make it a little higher behind me? Try to get your knees up. Up to your navel. Keep going. Four, three, two, 
one. Nicely done. Now I like to do what I call butt kickers. I'm going to go sidearm so you can see me. I'm just going to kick my heels back, trying to kick my butt. Keep going for four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Now we're going to end our warm up with push ups. And a push up, hands come just outside your shoulders. Some of us a little wider, and that's okay. And we're going to come down. Our chest is going to drop to our elbow crease, so it makes a nice 90-degree angle. And then we're going to push back up. I'm going to show you a couple variations of, of ways you can do these push-ups and feel really good doing it. All right, so I'm going to come down. And Madeline's going to show different ways, too. So there are lots of options. The first way you can do a push-up, hands under your hips or hands under your shoulders or just outside. You can keep your back nice and flat, squeeze your back and you can drop your chest down to 90 degrees and then come up. So it's down to the floor and up. Or you can take your feet out a little. So you have a nice long straight line. Don't cross your feet and don't leave them up. Keep them down, grounded. So you come down and then you push up. You come down and then you push up. Now, if you want to try the toes, but you're not quite there yet, that's totally fine. What you can do is stay one knee down and extend the other straight up. And you can do it this way. Just make sure you come down, okay? Make sure you come down. Or you can come up on your toes, make sure you get to that 90 degrees, drop it down and come back up. Now, it doesn't matter. A push-up is a push-up and you should feel good about that. I even have some friends who go against the wall and they push up against the wall, which is great too. All right, come on down. You are going to give me 10 of your best push-ups to end our warm-up, okay? So, come on down. However that looks for you is fine by us. Not going to stay on your toe or your knees. I'm going to go to my toes. Give me 10. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Push away from the floor. 2, 1 more. One, nicely done. Push back if you need to. All right, we're ready to start exercise. So what Madeline's going to do, and I have my stopwatch to time us. She's going to pick a paper, and she doesn't know what's on it. So it's going to be a surprise for her, too. She's going to pick a piece of paper, and we're going to do that exercise safely, quickly, to get our heart rate up for 30 seconds. And if you can, try to keep track. And then you can do this exercise again later with a sibling or a parent and see if you can beat them. I'm sure you can. All right. So, which piece? Don't peek. Come up here. Don't peek. Pick a paper. Pick one. Pick one. So we're going to start with, ooh, hoo, hoo. What is it? Star jump. A star jump. I'll show you quickly what a star jump is, and then we'll get right to it. So a star jump. You're going to start nice and low, feet parallel, soft bend the knee, and you are going to power up into a big high jack up in the air. A star jump. Ready? So this is what it looks like. I'll show it first, and then I'll show a modification. Ready? Okay. You start low, and you land soft and low. Always land bent knees. You don't want to land with straight legs that would hurt your knees and your back. So say you don't want to jump. What can you do? You can just do a regular jack. That's fine too. Or you could even just tap it out side to side. Whatever you feel like doing, you're moving, and that's what counts. All right, Madeline. Are you ready? Yes. Star jumps for 30 seconds. We're really starting this out like big time. So why don't you make sure you have enough space around you so you don't kick anybody or the wall or something, and then you get in trouble. All right, ready? On your mark, get set. 30 seconds, let's go. Up, up, up. So again, you start low and you keep going that one and you end low. Get those arms up, land low, chest up. Hey, you're halfway done. Keep going. Up, up, up. Awesome, keep going. You have eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, time. I didn't keep track of how many I did. Did you? Oh, no. It felt like 3,000. <laughs> so your heart rate should go up. You should, you should be breathing, taking in lots of air. If you are, 
that's awesome. Now we're gonna take a few seconds, let your heart rate come down, catch your breath. So that was a big exercise. Madeline's gonna pick the next one for us. And remember, anytime, get a drink of water. The next one from Miss Madeline. Oops, sorry. High knees. High knees, yay, another big cardio one. So what we're gonna do, feet again are under your hips, and you're gonna bring your knees up to your navel as quickly as you can, safely, with full foot placement down. Now what that means is, I don't want you to run on the balls of your feet. That's too much, it's not good for your calves or your shins. So when you come down, it's a whole foot placement from the toe, the ball, to the heel. So you wanna get them up, use your arms, and nice sprint your arm, or let's say you don't wanna do high knees. Just give me a nice jog or a strong march, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Is your heart rate back down? Yes. Yes, 30 seconds. We can do it. Get ready, on your mark, get set. Let's go. So now your heart rate's down. You could have a conversation with anyone and it would be okay. But now we're gonna get it back up. Pump those arms, draw the knees up, halfway done, go, go, go. Looking good over here. How are you feeling? Good. Your breath should be a little bit heavier. You couldn't have a full conversation right now. Three. Two, time. Well done. All right, let's see our next exercise while we catch our breath and we recover. What will it be? Squatch. Oh, she's picking all the tough ones first. I guess it's good we're gonna get them out of the way. Get a drink whenever you need to. I'm gonna show you quickly a safe squat jump. So again, my feet are just outside my hips. I'm gonna squat down, I start low, and I end low. That means low in the knees, protecting your back and your knees. Low, I use my arms, throw my body up, and I land back again. Hop, down, hop, now. Let's say you don't wanna squat, that's okay. Just, or a squat jump, you just do a simple squat, okay? So whatever you wanna do safely, that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Let's go. So use your arms, propel your body up. This is a plyometric exercise. This is for power. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. This is great cross training. If you're soccer, if you're softball, if you're baseball, this will work on those explosive exercises. Those explosive muscle groups. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, well done. It's getting a little warm. Get a drink of water, stay hydrated. All right. Oh my gosh, we only have four exercises left. You ready? Go ahead and pick one. Whoa. Jacks. All right. Those are good. We can do those. We can do those. Let me show you how to do a jack, although I'm sure you already know. So a jack, we're going to come out. You jump your feet up wide, much wider than your hips, and your arms come up. Whole foot placement down. Whole foot, whole foot up. Now, let's say you don't want a jack. That's fine. You can just tap it out and out. Okay? Whatever you want to do. 30 seconds. Try to keep track. I'm going to try to count how many I'm doing too. Let's see. In the spirit of friendly competition between my daughter and I, who do you think is going to do more jacks? Me or her? <laughs> you said me? Yes. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. Go right on, sink. <laughs> Whole foot down. Halfway done. How many are you at? I lost count of Oh no, she lost count of 26. I lost count too. 
Darn it! Time. <laughs> we'll just say we did a hundred. That sounds reasonable. No, it doesn't. That's not reasonable. All right, we only have three exercises left. I'll stay in you for a moment with them. All right. Mount, mountain climbers. All right, come on kids, we're gonna get down to the mat. If you don't have a mat, you can use a towel. Let's go, I'll show you how to do them first and then we'll time ourselves. down. We can do this for 30 seconds. I believe in us. <laughs> Ready? On your mark? Get set. Let's go. Draw it up, 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 up. Come over here. That's fine too. Keep going. Keep going. Looking good, Madeline. You're halfway done. You can do this for 10 more seconds. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're still breathing. Five, four, three, two, time. Well done. Shake your arms. Maybe you want to stretch them a little bit. Great job. All right. Two cards left, Madeline. Just two. Let's see what she picks. I'm getting sweaty, too. My goodness. Plank jacks. Plank jacks. We're going right back to the plank position. So really shake those arms out because we're going to be working them again. All right. Come on down. And now it's the same position. Come up to that push-up position. Hands under your shoulders. And all you're going to do is a little jump out in here. Little out in here. It's not wide. I don't want that. Again, it's too much pressure on your lower back. So, just a little jump, a few inches out in, out and in, or you can just tap it side to side. That's fine too. Whatever you want to do, but we're going to do it for 30 seconds. So get on up. Ready? Yes. On your mark, get set, let's go. Out and in. Now think about the muscles you need to do this. As you're doing those plank jacks, you are really calling in your obliques. You're calling in your back and your shoulders. You're calling in your glutes, everything. This is such a great exercise. Make sure your butt stays flat for eight more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Push back if you want to. Shake your arms if you want to. One exercise remains. Just one. You want to show it to them? Yeah, show it to them. Quick run. A quick run. What a great way to end with a quick run. Are you sweaty like I am? Okay. So I'm going to go back just a little bit. And all you're going to do is just tap it in. All you're going to do, your feet are outside your hips. You're down nice and low. I want you to see my feet, so I'm just going to. Again, it's full foot placement. I'm not just staying on the balls of my feet. Full foot placement, full foot placement. I'm just going back and forth as quickly as I can. Last exercise today. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 30 seconds. On your mark, get set. Let's go. 
on your mark. Get set. Let's go. Really fast. Elbows in. Everything is shaking in your body right now. Sprint to the end. Go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. You're halfway done. That's right, halfway. Let's go, go, pick it up a little bit more. Eight more seconds. For five, go, go, go. Four, three, two, time. Well done. Well done. So we're gonna do one exercise for our core, although we've been working it the entire time. Anytime you're in a push-up, a mountain climber, a plank, a hover, you're really drawing in your core. So we're just gonna do one activity and then we'll stretch you out and you're gonna have the rest of the day to be active and have fun. All right, what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna grab a ball. It's a soft ball, so if you're gonna play with another person, I wouldn't recommend like a hard ball. Um, maybe like a, like a, um, I'm trying to think what are those, like, I don't want to say dodgeball. Like a foam ball, thank you. Yeah, or something light that you could toss to one another. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to be about four to five feet away from Madeline, okay? And what we're going to do, back and forth. there are two options. You can either keep your feet on the ground or your balls, your feet on the ground and lean back. So you're calling in your core. You're calling in everything here and here. And you're just going to lean back. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you can bring your legs up to 90 degrees, okay? So what we're going to do, Toss the ball back and forth. Now, if you don't have somebody to play with or to do this with, you can use a wall, but get parent permission first. And I wouldn't pick a wall that has like priceless paintings or mirrors or anything. I don't think that would be good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean back and I'm gonna toss it to Madeline. She can toss it to me. I'll toss it to her. Keep going. You can really feel your core coming into play here. Now, it's important that you don't hold your breath. Deep breathing. How you feeling, Madeline? Good. Good. <laughs> We're just for a little bit longer, and then we'll be done. Remember your option. You can put your feet down if you need to. Give me five. Give me four. Give me three. Give me two. And give me one. Well done. Nice job, guys. Feeling good? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's stretch out. <laughs> Stay on the floor or on the mat. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to come a little bit closer to Madeline. I'm going to turn my mat this way. I'm going to be on my knees. I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to step it forward 90 degrees. And then I want you to lean into it. This is a great stretch for your hip flexor. We really used it a lot today. And so you want to take care of your muscles. You want to stretch them. It's very important to stretch after a hard workout. I'm just going to hold it. And then see how it works each side. I like to hold each stretch for 10 to 15 seconds just so you can really fall into it. You don't want to force a stretch. Just take a deep breath and let it go. When you exhale, your, your body will come in a little bit more to that stretch and you will feel great. All right, let's come on up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to step my feet outside my hips. And then I want you just to drop your whole body down to the ground. Let your head go. Let your body hang. You should feel this. It's a nice release. Hold it still. Hold it still. Come down, Come down a little bit more if you can. Inhale, exhale. Come down a little bit more. As I really just want you to hold that. You're going to feel it in your, in your hamstring. You're going to feel it in your quad. You're going to feel it in your back. So Hold it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my, I'm going to hold my arms and I'm just going to rock side to side. Oh no. Makes you feel really good. Nice and easy. All right, so I'm going to walk my feet in and then roll it up one vertebrae at a time. This is a, a balance tester. 
So if you need to, you can go to a chair, something sturdy, a chair, the couch, the counter, or a wall. Find balance, or do a quad stretch. I'm gonna grab my right ankle, and I'm gonna pull up. Balance is challenging right now. Would you want your knee under your hip, your hip under your hip? Just hold it. It's tough. She's going to a wall. Smart, smart, smart. Switch sides. Some days I have no balance at all. Hold it. Nice job, release. Last stretch we're going to do is for our arms and our chest. I hope you did push-ups today. Mountain climbers, and plank jack. So keep your shoulder, rest it down. I'm going to stretch out my back as I hold. Side as I hold. All right, release that. We're going to inhale up, bend the knees, inhale up once, bend the knees, inhale up again. All right, awesome job today. You were active for almost a half hour, so you're halfway there for today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon with more activities and exercises. Bye.